The open flame torch is a long wand with a cylindrical bell at the end. The intensity of the flame is controlled by a squeeze valve that regulates the gas flow. This torch can generate working temperatures over 1000 degrees Celsius. In order to use this torch, you must first connect the gas line to the propane tank. Then turn on the gas and check for leaks. Open the pilot valve and light with a striker. As weeds are being treated with the open flame torch, you may notice a color change in leaves or a wilting appearance of the weeds. The pros of this type of torch are short exposure times for treating weeds, and this torch has a large area of heat distribution. The cons of this torch are that the large area of heat distribution results in a less specific treatment area size and potentially creates more damage to crop areas surrounding the weeds. The infrared torch has an enclosed flame that is projected onto a rectangular ceramic plate which provides radiant heat output. The working temperature of this torch is up to 600 degrees Celsius. In order to use this torch, connect the gas tank to the torch, turn on the gas, check for leaks, then light with striker. The pros of this type of torch is that the heat can be directed to very specific target areas, creating less damage to crop areas surrounding the weeds. The cons of this type of torch are that longer exposure times are needed for treating weeds, and the heat may not be able to penetrate into the center of large clumps of weeds. The infrared with spike torch has an enclosed flame that is projected onto a round ceramic plate which provides radiant heat and generates working temperatures of up to 400 degrees Celsius. A metal spike is attached to the metal cone that contains the ceramic plate. This spike is used to pierce the crown of the weed being treated and will ideally damage the roots of the plant while radiant heat from the ceramic plate damages above ground plant parts. This particular torch is designed for use with small herbaceous weeds like dandelions. A larger torch with a longer spike intended for larger weeds found on cranberry bogs is under development. To use this torch, connect the gas tank to the torch. Turn on the gas. Check for leaks. Then ignite by clicking the starter, which generates a spark. The pros of this type of torch is that it has a small working area and the heat can be directed to very specific target areas, causing less damage to surrounding crop areas. And it also has a spike that can potentially damage roots of the weeds. The cons of this type of torch are that long exposure times are needed to treat weeds. The heat is not widely distributed, making the treatment of large weeds more difficult. When using any type of torch, it is important to keep these safety considerations in mind. Do not treat in high winds when embers could spread. Keep water on hand in case of smoldering plants or accidental fires. Noxious weeds like poison ivy should never be burned because irritants could become airborne and cause serious health problems. Make sure to water or irrigate before and after treatment to reduce the risk of fire. Do not use flame cultivation during droughts.